Hi, I'm Jonathan Shepard. It's so nice to meet you and to tell you my story. My father was James Bromley Shepard, and my mother Johanna Elizabeth Longbottom. I was one of nine children, where we lived at 12, Lother Street in Whitehaven, Cumberland. In 1891 we moved to 9, Church Street, Whitehaven. Our family later moved to Blackburn, Lancashire in 1901, as father had a new job. Upon leaving school, I served an apprenticeship with James Davenport of Blackburn. I worked for Messrs Howard and Buller of Accrington and Hadfields of Sheffield. I then commenced my seagoing career with W. S. Kenor and Sons of Liverpool. I enjoyed my career as I served on ships owned by James Chambers and Company of Liverpool. I would later join the White Star Line after obtaining my first class Marine Engineer Certificate of Competency. My first ship of the White Star Line was the Adriatic, and later on the Olympic. I was on Olympic when she struck the HMS Hawk, I was one of the first to close the watertight doors following the collision. I left my lodgings at 16, Bellevue Terrace, Southampton in the early morning to sign on to the Titanic. I signed on to the Titanic, on the 6th of April, 1912, I was quite amazed at Titanic, like her sister but much more grand. As junior assistant second engineer on Titanic, I would earn monthly wages of £12 and 10 shillings. Titanic's maiden voyage was going very well, the engines were absolutely splendid and performing very well. I was on duty on the evening of the 14th of April, 1912, and witnessed the events of the collision in the engine room. After the collision, I helped the other engineers with the pumps in boiler room 5. I was rather unfortunate to break my leg when I slipped into a raised access plate. Leading fireman Frederick Barrett and engineer Herbert Harvey helped me to the pump room. Shortly afterwards the nearby bulkheads were breached. I was left helpless as the waters rose around me. Sadly I was lost in the tragedy, this has been my story, it has been a pleasure to speak to you, thank you, Jonathan.